Justin Shore here on First Responders Network TV. I'm joined by Mr. Tom Boulay. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. How Good. are you, Justin? Oh, doing great. We're having a great show so far. I love technology. You love technology. You've got a new 12-lead phone app. Is that correct? That's true. Tell us about it. Okay, so this is the 12-lead ECG Challenge app. Mm -hmm. It's a cooperative effort between myself and Limmer Creative. And what it is is 150 actual 12-lead ECGs. 150? 150. 150, wow. Uh, taken from actual patients in the field. These are ECGs I've been collecting for the past 10, 15 years. And the way it works, um, you may not want to go through all 150 at the same time, so mm -hmm. you can choose 5, 10, or 20. And so here I'm just going to select 10. And so we give a brief scenario. This one says a 63-year-old male with a chief complaint of chest pain experiences BFib and is shocked at 200 joules. And then you have a 12-lead ECG with the Rosk rhythm, and it comes up. You can turn it sideways, and if you want to, you, you can expand it. And so it renders very nicely. Um, we also have, we have this, um, it's going to be for Droid, also for Apple. You can use it on a tablet, and it renders beautifully also on an iPad as well. So after you take a look at the ECG, and you decide what you think it is, you tap Answer, and you, you get some answer text, and there's also an answer graphic. And so the answer graphic will show you with, with arrows, will bring up the relevant uh, teaching points on the 12 lead ECG and everything that you need to know. Um, now, if you decide that you've got that one down and you don't need to see it again, you tap mastered it, and then that one's out of the deck. And then it goes to the next one, and this one's a 66-year-old male with a cheap complaint of syncope, and same thing. So there's 150 examples to keep it fresh. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is basically something that was specifically designed to help paramedics make the cath lab or no cath lab decision. So this is going to enable paramedics to more accurately determine who is or who, who is not having an acute STEMI. So special emphasis on the STEMI mimics. And this is a lot easier to carry around in the front seat of the ambulance when we're on post than some of the leading textbooks, some of the leading reference materials. We, this is like having you and all your knowledge in my pocket. Well, not just my knowledge, what's so awesome about this is ever since I started blogging and one of the amazing things about EMS 2.0 is now people submit cases from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And so when you think about it, if you wanted to collect 150 interesting ECGs, it would take another 10, 15 years. Um, but what's happened over the past few years is I'm getting cases from Israel, I'm getting cases from Indonesia, I'm getting cases from all over the United States and Europe, and uh, so, so they've got their lines in the water too. And so um, when, when I get a case of mis submission, I always ask permission if I can use cases in other media. And uh, no, so far, no one's ever said no. So, uh, so it, it just it constantly adds to the pool of interesting cases. And it's a great thing if you see an interesting presentation in the field to capture that anonymize it and send it along to the folks that can actually make it a teaching tool. Well true, you know, in, in EMS systems we don't always do a very good job learning from each other. Something that happens on A shift, the lesson is completely lost for B shift. So even in our own internal quality improvement mechanisms, we don't do a good job uh, sharing within our departments. This technology allows us to share globally um, through Web 2.0, through EMS 2.0, through mm -hmm. blogging, podcasting, and through mobile applications like this. Unfortunately, I think that's just a B-shift issue. It, it could be. Well, there I'm, there I'm are an a, a lot of B-shift, so. as am I. <laughs> okay. uh, where can folks download the app? Two days ago, it launched on the Android market, and it's under review on Apple right now. So I, I don't know how long this is going to take. I think like five days, six days. Now, I know a lot of times we go in and we search key terms uh, in the Android market, in the Apple iTunes store. Uh, what, what is the name of the app? It's called the 12 Lead ECG Challenge app. It is by Limmer Creative, um, Dan and, and Stephanie Limmer. Uh, Dan Limmer is a very well-known EMT textbook author. Mm -hmm. And at the Android market, if you use the search term ECG, I think it's the second or third hit. It's I think 12 Lead Challenge will probably get it. Definitely. Uh, is there a cost yeah. to it? Four ninety nine. That's That's nothing compared to what you're getting. Right, well, you know, we wanted to go for a global market, and mm -hmm. uh, we figured out that $5 in the United States might be even more like $25 in Cairo. And uh, a lot of the people that follow my blog are from the Middle East and from Indonesia, mm -hmm. and we didn't want to create a price point that would exclude anyone. And so $4.99 seemed reasonable for us to make it uh, reasonable for, for paramedics and people, healthcare professionals, not just paramedics, from all over the world. Yeah, they're gonna spend four to five times that minimum just to get a textbook that's going to have the same static images as long as they have it. That was my thought all along and since I'm a, a blogger I, I just really enjoy the tools of Web 2.0 and uh, so it just seemed like a, a very good fit for me to do an, an app. 
And uh, so when I was approached by Limer Creative, I, I thought it was a great idea. And there was nothing, there, there's a lot of 12 lead apps out there, mm -hmm. um, but they're, they're not, um, and they have a lot of content, but not a lot of case studies, not a lot of actual case studies. So these are actual case studies, and uh, we follow it through. Uh, we give you the actual, you find out what the diagnosis was, and, 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 and again, the, the relevant teaching points. So I don't just tell you what the answer is, I show you what show the answer you. is. Right here, this is an acute anterior STEMI. We've got the ST elevation, and we're showing the reciprocal changes as well. And so, so um, hopefully this is gonna keep everyone's skills sharp and, uh, and, and my goal and, and what I would be most happy about is if this technology right here enabled people to have a lower false positive rate with the cardiac cath lab. It's all about the patient. You've given us a right. great tool to teach ourselves from your experience and the experience of others. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Great product.